Welcome to the first speed test of these electric motors I've installed from Karoot. We're currently drifting at about 0.4, so I'm going to do kind of Gen uh, Guinness record style in one direction and then do the other and then average the two. Right now we're at 50-50, just this the stock controller interface that comes with the thing. Um, they're just two potentiometers. And then we have two of these motors and then the um, diesel drive leg in the middle. All right, San Francisco Bay. So let's start our speed test. Again, we're just starting to drift at, we're at 0.4 drift, uh, speed over ground, just for drifting. Let's start us off at kind of the first notch, which is about 60 on the potentiometers. It's just, just a little bit of thrust. I don't expect us to make any dent on the speed meter. Maybe 0.1 knots. Yeah, we're just the slowest setting. There's a, there's a slight whine with any kind of electric motor. It's fine. Go ahead and crank us up to 70. Point nine. We're definitely moving. One knot, one point one. Four. And five. This is nice. And seven. Okay. Um, I didn't ask you to crack it, but okay. Um, there's definitely slow down a little bit. We're, we're kind of cavitating. Um, hmm. These motors are probably not far enough into the water here. You can see they're definitely good. Go, go, just turn it off. Okay. Um, there's definitely some cavitation there. They were absolutely sucking in water or air and cavitating. It makes me think that these are not deep enough. Although, what speed did we hit while we were on 80? I saw 2.8. 2.8s. Sounds fine. Okay, can you slowly ramp this up again and let me see if I can get some good footage on the cavitation. Stop the video and we'll take one in the other direction.